Let's begin. The first one is close dance, big toes touching, heels apart, sinking into the feet, spreading the toes. Sense that small V in the middle of your arches from the big toe to your heels. And then as you sink into the feet, you sense your ankles, knees, and hips softening. And then you start to sense your spine, your crown, growing taller, and you'll notice lots more space from the shoulders to the ears. Close stance, and you can say, oh. Oh, every stance has got a, a sound bite to switch on the mind-body connection. Oh. And then we move to the next stance, which is called open stance. Feet are parallel underneath the hips, one side equal to the other. And the sound bite is ground. So you should be able to see your knees over the center of your foot and also sinking in to the ankles, to the knees, to the hips. Noticing the spine and the crown and say ground. Then we move to the next stance, which is called A stance, like the letter A. The feet are just a little bit wider than the shoulders and the sound bite is ah. So breathe in and say ah. And then we move into the next stance, which is called sumo stance. So open up the feet, the heels follow. And you say, aha. So this is when you bring in those martial arts energies. Sense ankles, knees, hips softening. Go down to your depth and say, aha, aha, aha. Sensing feet and ankle joints. And then we go into back to A stance to prepare for bow stance. The back foot, heel is high. There's more weight on the front foot. And imagine that you're in a bow and arrow stance. That's why it's called the bow stance. And then you can bring in your palm directions and say you and sense more weight on the front foot and the back thigh is vertical. It's in line with the back foot. You. And then you go back to A stance and then the bow stance this way. Weight into the front foot and then into cat stance, soft wrists, and you can say hiss. And then as you finish off your cat stance, take a moment to sense that supporting foot grounding you. Level one of cat stance is you can keep the toes on the floor. The level two is you can tuck that foot in. And then there's always a level three, which is a bit more challenge for the body. Sinking in, sensing all your joints. <laughs> 